Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, we have a request from Geraldo Grab, uh, Gabriel um, and the request says following. Hi Somil, thank you so much for your tutorials. I have followed everything and it worked well. But some reason if I run into, I, if I run Elasticsearch Kibana Logstash version 8.3, my Logstash won't connect to the Elasticsearch on the log and on the Logstash prompt, it prints 401 error which is an uh, which is authentication issue i have edited the logstash.conf file where i type in the username and password for elasticsearch with no log as a result i ran into elastic kibana and logstash version 7 with filebit running version 8.3 and everything worked well it would be great if you can make a walkthrough on how to install a full stack version 8.3 elasticsearch kibana and logstash Thank you. I look forward uh, to see your ALK series. So this is exactly what we're going to do in this video. I'll be installing the entire ELK stack, Elastic, Kibana, and Logstash version 8. Uh, I know that a lot of things has changed in version 8 because of you know Fleet and other things, right? So I'll be showing you how to install the ELK stack version 8. All right, so the first step that we're going to do is essentially install the entire stack. Here, I will leave all the links. So I'm going to download Elasticsearch 8.3. I'm going to download Kibana 8.3. And then I'm going to download uh, Logstash 8.3. So let's wait for the download. All right, now here is what we got to do. Step three, we got to unzip all the files. So I'm going to click, right click here, seven zip here. Then I'm going to do this for all the three, for Elasticsearch and now for Kibana. So I'm going to do that. So remember, all the three, Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Logstash are now unzipping. And once it is done, we are going to go. All right, so we just have installed the all the three, Elastic, Kibana, and Logstash 8.3.2. Uh, here you can see, now I'll show you how to configure these, okay? This is important. So first thing, go inside the Elasticsearch 8.3.2 folder and search for a file called yml, elastic.yml. Now, what we need to do is we need to copy this particular line into the YML file. So we'll do that, okay? Once that is done, save it, close that. Now, we will be going inside the bin directory and we shall is issue a command called elastic.bat. And now what this will do is it's essential, essentially, this is gonna generate the password and the token, enrollment token for our Kibana, okay? So I'll show you uh, shortly. So let's wait for uh, this to complete. So, and as soon as you see that, uh, hit Control C and copy that in a notepad. Okay. So uh, let's wait for those uh, credentials on the console. Okay. So now it's starting, right? And it should output uh, the credentials uh, pretty soon, okay? And then I'll show you what changes you need to do in order to make it work locally, okay? Now it should output the credentials. So now make sure to hit Control C once you see uh, those credentials on the, uh, on the on the on the terminal okay so we'll wait these are just warnings so you don't need to worry about that uh, so okay so it's we can still wait and um, it should dump the uh, the tokens uh, on my console shortly there you go so hit control c so as you can see here these are the credentials right left click and copy this in wordpad right uh, i copy pasted it right so now you need to stop that right here you can see these are the credentials right now we need to do one more change to make this work come to config then come to elastic.yml and click on notepad plus plus scroll all the way on the bottom here where it says expect uh, security transport uh, ssl make it to false okay and expect security HTTP port SSL, make that as well to false. Save it, close it, go back, 
go to the bin directory, start the command prompt, and then start the bat file again. Now this should start the again, and then we will verify by going to localhost 9200. Okay, so now let's wait for the web server to start. And once this is started, uh, what I'll do is I'll say Control Shift N on my keyboard. Uh, this will open that in an incognito mode. And I would head over to localhost 9200. It wouldn't open up right now because the web server is still starting. I'm gonna wait for a couple of minutes to it, for it to start. Now remember, uh, we copied that uh, stuff in the, in the file, right? Uh, where is my file? Uh, I think I I. I closed my file, but luckily I have that saved here. So I'll I'll click here on Notepad++. And yeah, here, this is my uh, credentials, right? So let, let's wait for the web server to start. And um, now it is started. Now I'll refresh my browser. Now we'll try with the default Elastic and the password that was generated, right? So this is the password uh, that was generated. And congratulations, Elasticsearch 8.3.2 is now configured on your computer. Now next step is move. All right, good job guys on configuring the Elasticsearch and now it's time to configure Kibana, right? So, all right, do this with me. Um, now, uh, make sure your uh, Elk server is running in the background. Uh, where is mine? Yeah, mine is here, right? So it is already running. Let me close all the other tabs that are not required, right? So my Elk server is running and now what I'll do is, um, you need to go to a bin, Elasticsearch. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, so in the bin directory, open command prompt. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to generate uh, a password, or we need to reset the password for Kibana systems, okay? So type the word Kibana underscore system. Uh, is that the right one? Yeah, I think so, Kibana underscore system, yeah. So type that user, just wanna make sure I don't make a spelling mistake, right? So Kibana, uh, the system, and hit enter. Uh, this should uh, provide you a password for Kibana system, right? So let's wait. Uh, I think I had to say yes, and I pressed enter by mistakely. So it did end the operation, so let's wait. So I'll say why. And there you go, I have a password, right, for Kibana. Now, what we need to do is uh, head over to kibana config kibana.yml file and over here you need to uncomment following server.port server.host okay uh, elastic uh, elastic search dot uh, host right and then elastic search dot username is kibana system on the password enter the password uh, click on save and then click on close the close the close the window okay once you're done with that, now we can uh, start our Kibana by going into the build directory and saying kibana.bat. So now let's wait for Kibana to start. This might take a couple of seconds or minutes, and then uh, we'll essentially do the next step. All right, guys, so uh, my Kibana has just started, as you can see. Now what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll essentially go to localhost 5601, right? Uh, I'll go here and then uh, it should prompt me, yeah, a username, password. You can use your Elastic one, right? That's the Elastic username. Uh, and my Elastic password is this, right? The one that I just reset. So, and say it's incorrect. Uh, let's try the one with the Kibana system. Or, or, or you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna reset my password again. So I'll come here, I'll copy this command. Elastic says reset password for Elastic, right? So I'll try to enter that one in. It should reset the password for the Elastic. So let's wait. I'll say why. And uh, now it should generate one for me. It's taking a while. Let's make sure my, yeah, my Elk is running. Let me close all the other things. Uh, 
I'm just gonna do it again. Maybe it took a long while. It doesn't take that long usually. So I'll try to reset it again. I'm not sure why my computer is a little frozen today. So let's try that. I'll say yes. Uh, and I got my password right. So I'll copy paste uh, this one, right? So now let's head over to uh, localhost 5601 and it will prompt me for a username and password. The username will be elastic, password is the one that was just generated. And uh, now you should be able to uh, log in into Kibana. So we have configured Elasticsearch and Kibana 8.3.2, okay? So I'll, uh, I'll uh, put my password here, the new one, right? Yeah, so your Kibana is now configured. Your Elasticsearch is also configured. Um, so you can, of course, fire any commands that you want. I don't have any index right now, right? So I can say put sample. I can just create an index. And then, I, yeah, so as you can see, right, it's configured correctly, right? Uh, I can say cat indices. And yeah, here you see my index is pretty, right? So your elastic is configured, your kibana is configured now. It's time to do a lot. So guys, we are at the last step, that is the log stash, right? So let's understand that and uh, knock this off. So uh, I'm gonna go to log stash 8.3.2, uh, go to config file and we'll go to, we'll create a file called learn.conf, uh, okay? And I'll open that in notepad++, plus plus. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm doing a standard out and I'm also putting that in the elastic search. The user is elastic, the password, um, you know, the one that I generated uh, from the first step, right? And by chance, if you do not have the password, you can always reset the password. Uh, you can do this command, oops, this one. Uh, Elasticsearch hyphen reset hyphen password minus you and then the user, right? Uh, if you wanna create a new user for just for Logstash, uh, feel free to do that. And then once that is done, we will go to the bin, bin section and here, we will uh, launch, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say following command, that is log stash minus f dot slash the conf file and we'll, we'll say auto reload, uh, okay? So I'll, uh, I'll run this one, okay? And once it is started, we will uh, enter some command on the terminal and this should flow the data into the elastic search, okay? Um, so let's wait for this. Uh, might take a couple of seconds or a minute, right? So let's be a bit patient. So yeah, I mean, I got a lot of questions like, hey, how do you set up the entire stack? Elastic chart, lock, stash, and Kibana. And there were a lot of people who had a hard time uh, getting this to work, which is why I decided to make this video, right? And I hope this will help everybody. Um, so let's go back to my screen. And again, this will take a couple of seconds. I'll uh, try to turn off the rest of the stuff that I don't need. So I don't need that. And that's my Kibana server that's running, right? So I'm just, that's my Elk server that's running, right? So Kibana, Elasticsearch, and now I started up my log stash, right? So, so that's my log stash, okay? So this might take a second or two. Again, just be patient, it, it takes a while, okay? Uh, remember, you can also create a special role for Logstash uh, if needed, a role and, and, and a user, and then use that. But for just a demo, I'm just gonna use the default Elastic one, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, so now it's starting, so I'll, I'll wait for that.
yeah the log stash uh, takes time okay for the first time it will take a little bit time to start 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 that up all right still starting okay so now it's connecting all right almost there okay so now i'll show you uh, this in action okay hello Samuel. yeah this is inserted right i can go to my index that was i guess this one right and i should see all the documents here right i i see the documents right which came from the log stash here you can see high sawmill high sawmill right uh, right uh, works fine right i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video um uh, uh i hope this video will help you to install elastic kibana log stash everything uh, on windows machine and if you have any more question list your question i'll try my best to help you out with that being said keep smiling keep programming and i'll see you guys in the